Congress and now moving to a hot talker online as one state seeks to get rid of corporal punishment in its schools. Two Kentucky lawmakers are fighting to ban teachers from being able to physically discipline students. So we want to hear from you this morning. Our poll is up and live at 11alive.com slash vote or your app to weigh in. Now one of the Kentucky Bill sponsors says he's surprised the law allowing corporal punishment is still a thing, but new research shows Kentucky's not alone. 19 other states allow corporal punishment in schools, and Georgia is one of them. Now, Georgia state law authorizes local school boards to decide their own policy when it comes to corporal punishment, and we've been tracking the responses online. We've gotten a lot of them. You're busy on our insider page chatting as well. Glenda, she is one that has no problem with teachers being able to discipline, but on the other side, other people are saying, nope, this should strictly fall on parents. And actually, some of you, like Jeffrey, had no idea that this was even a law in our state. He says, not a good look. So what do you think? Use that hashtag MorningRushATL to weigh in. We are tracking this conversation. It's an interesting one. Yeah, and it keeps coming up over and over again, right? Mm -hmm. we, we forget that it is in Georgia, and then it goes away for a little bit, and we're reminded that it is here in our state as well. I absolutely do not want anyone else disciplining my child. It actually puts the teachers in harm's way. Think about it. You know, my mother, as I mentioned, every single time we talk about teachers, uh, three decades in the school system, about four decades, mm -hmm. specifically the Cab County schools. Mm -hmm. And the only time she ever had to touch a student was when they were uh, at each other's throats, about to rip each other apart, mm -hmm. trying to had push to them, them away. away. She, her life has been threatened. You know, they've been saying that they would come to school and shoot her with a gun. So, so if they, that this just puts teachers um, at risk. And open harmed. to lawsuits. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. if something like goes wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally against it. I've had it done to me, but uh, in different, different day, different day. I'm, I'm against that. But my I, my thought is for teachers who get in conflict conflict with children, teach kids that actually mm -hmm. go at teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And teachers yeah. not being able to do anything about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I think you know once a kid is big enough and bad enough to lay his hands on a teacher, a teacher yeah. should be able to defend themselves. Absolutely. And, and they can't do that. Because if this was on the street, mm -hmm. it would be a different story and that mm -hmm. kid would be under, you know, facing charges. Mm -hmm. But at school, it's like, oh, they're still a kid. No, yeah. these kids are getting bigger and stronger and, you know, so I think that should change as well, you yeah. know. All right, yeah. well, so far the poll, which you can still vote in right now at 11alive.com slash vote, more folks are saying absolutely not, 64% to 36%. So weigh in. I'm with you, I'm with you. All right, we're looking at